Good evening, guests, and welcome to the first or second virtual Mio Alpha Theta induction ceremony. My name is Joseph Mooney, and I'm the president of Mio Alpha Theta at Barbara Goldman Senior High School. This year, we had a wave of new members and inductees, and in spite of the coronavirus pandemic and all the craziness that came along with it, it is my pleasure to welcome these new candidates into Mio Alpha Theta, the National High School and Two-Year College Mathematics Honor Society. It is an honor to be selected for membership in this organization, which has over 2,100 chapters across the United States and in many foreign countries. Each of you meets the requirements for membership, including work done with distinction in college preparatory mathematics courses. At this moment, I would like to introduce our executive board for the 2020-2021 school year and acknowledge all of the hard work they've put in. Vice President Kier Ruiz Houston, Secretary Jamie Gonzalez, Treasurer Julian Romeo, Assistant Treasurer Lori Asidi, Historian Kenishi Phils Esperant, Membership Chairperson Russell Ridley, Membership Co-Chairperson Marco Rios, Service Chairperson Gabriel Gutierrez Ruiz, Service Co-Chairperson Matthew Segura, Fundraising Chairperson Nicole Lugo, and our Fundraising Co-Chairperson Andrea Vega. I would also like to recognize our magnificent sponsor, Mrs. Michelle Townsell, for all the time and sacrifices she had made for our organization. And now, our Assistant Treasurer, Lori Asidi, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as Nina Kastrobosh performs the Star Spangled Banner. Hi everyone, my name is Nina Kastrobosh and I'm going to be singing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the red we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave thank you please be seated now we'll hear from our supportive administration. Please welcome Barbara Goldman Senior High School's principal, Dr. Manny Sanchez. Good evening, parents, staff, and students. Welcome to the Mu Alpha Theta induction. I am Dr. Sanchez, a proud principal here at Barbara Goldman Senior High School. I first wanted to thank Ms. Townsell for her leadership and dedication to our students. Um, students, you are here because of your excellence in mathematics. You qualify for this prestigious organization. Many people don't know this, but the famous mathematician Pythagoras developed the Pythagorean theorem from listening to the mooing patterns of cows. That's why this honor society is called Moo Alpha Theta. No, seriously, you're here because of your hard work and dedication. Congratulations on your induction. Thank you, Dr. Sanchez. The principal purpose of Mio Alpha Theta is to stimulate a deeper interest in mathematics. Kier Ruiz Houston on our, and our executive board members will now provide you with a brief explanation of the significance of mathematics.
Hello, my name is Kira Reese Houston and I'm the Vice President of Mu Alpha Theta. Today I'm going to be speaking of the oldest history of mathematics. So thinking back into the past, history speaks of how the Babylonians and Egyptians worked with arithmetic, trigonometry, number theory, and astronomy, all considered very far-reaching concepts at the time. However, it was these concepts that reached so far from the past into our present and future and their work ended up contributing much to the progress, as we know it, of the ancient world. Whether it be from calculating the circumference of the earth or the building of the pyramids, there remains a trend in our past. Humanity began to apply mathematics to life both in use and in theory. While it may have taken many years for the concept of the number zero to develop, one of which we use in almost everyday life, it made possible the algorithms for addition and multiplication fundamental tools that we do use in everyday life, and therefore an important tool in human progress. While most of us may think of geometry in terms of shapes or in angles, at its origin, Greek geometry involved a new emphasis on the power of reason, and it also served as a foundation for philosophy. For example, Archimedes found ways to determine that areas and volumes could be used to create machines using mathematics, and this was at a time that nothing quite like this had happened before. It only makes sense that with all this exploration in terms of discovering how mathematics could be used, it only makes sense that what came next was further enlightenment and further exploration. With the study of algebra and equations, logarithms and probability, humans found a new language so that they could understand the worlds around them as never before. With one overpowering stroke of genius, a young man in his early 20s, Sir Isaac Newton, invented the calculus, discovered the law of gravity, three laws of motion, and how mathematics could predict the very orbits of the planets. With this mathematics, mankind had the tools needed to discover and explain, and a way to develop the technology that would bring man to a new age of scientific understanding. The applications of 20th century higher mathematics have radically changed virtually every aspect of our lives. In the physical and life sciences, new developments have contributed to understanding areas as diverse as mass, energy relationships to population growth. Business and economics have benefited from new theories in statistics and group analysis. Advances in medical technology and communications abound. Applications of new kinds of mathematics have arisen. It is time now to consider the future. The mathematics of the 21st century promises mankind even more. Telecommunications without wires, words, and pictures transmitted via algebraic codes. The exploration described by the speakers represent only the beginning of our understanding of the mathematical world. Rather than developing at a constant rate, discoveries build one upon the other, each leading to more innovative theories. Our knowledge grows exponentially and its applications grow wider in scope. In summary, then the mathematics of the future relies increasingly upon man's ability to imagine and create, as well as his ability to reason. It is with proud recognition of your skill and interest in mathematics that we welcome you to Mu Alpha Theta. May we someday add your name to the list of great mathematicians who have helped the world advance. Mankind awaits new mathematical and scientific theories to complete the work of great men and women who have come before. Just as mathematical principles and research have helped us understand so much, we anticipate further research and development to greater understand the world around us. Mankind awaits new mathematical and scientific theories to complete the work of You have now heard a brief history of mathematics and its gifts to all. More is needed of you. You must exchange freely your ideas, and you must continue to grow through all your years. It is with proud recognition of your skills and interest in mathematics that we welcome you to Mu Alpha Theta. May we someday add your name to the list of great mathematicians who have helped the world advance. You have now heard a brief history of mathematics and its candidates. Now that the standards and ideals of this organization have been fully revealed, you shall now be called forth individually to be honored. Catherine Abad. Alexandra Alvarez. 
Natalie Choi, Kayla Cruz, Maria Garcia, Laura Gomez Ray, Alyssa Hernandez, Jessica Lucis, Julianne Mooney, Nicole Rodriguez, Ramiro Rojas, Emily Solomon, and Angelica Valcarcel. Congratulations to all of our inductees. Our Vice President, Kira Ruth Houston, will now swear in our new members. All right, inductees, please rise, raise your right hand, and repeat the Mulo Theta pledge after me to become official members of this organization. I pledge to provide outstanding leadership, character, and service to the Mathematics Honor Society, Mulo Theta, at Barbara Goldman Senior High School. I promise to uphold the standards of this prestigious organization and participate in the advancement of mathematical knowledge for the rest of my high school career. And on behalf of Barbara Goldman Senior High School, we now formally welcome you into our chapter for Mualfa Theta. Congratulations! We're very proud of you. Inductees, you may now be seated. At this time, Current junior Matthew Segura will now um, introduce our senior slideshow, which is um, an honorary slideshow in honoration of our current senior Mi Alpha Theta members. So first of all, we have our president Joseph Mooney, who is going to graduate at the who's graduating and is going to the University of Chicago. Now we have our Vice President, Kira Ruiz Houston, who is going to the University of South Florida. Next is our Secretary, Jamie Gonzalez, who's going to Duke University. Next is our Treasurer, Jillian Romeo, who's going to the University of Florida. Our next senior graduating is historian Kinishi Phil Phyllis Esperant, who's going to Northwestern University. Next up is our chairperson of membership, Russell Ridley, who's going to the University of Central Florida. Our next um, officer that's graduating is the chairperson of service, Gabo Gutierrez Ruiz, who's going to Georgia Institute of Technology. Next is our chairperson of fundraising, Nicole Lugo, who's going to Brown University. Another graduating senior is Carolyn Castillo, who's going to the University of Florida. Next is Julia Cotto, who's going to the University of Central Florida. Next is Lilia Damas, who's going to the University of Florida. Next up is Gabriel Hernandez, who's, who's going to the University of Central Florida. Next up is Ashley Montero, who's going to Miami-Dade College. Next is Tyler Robertson, who's going to Miami-Dade College. Another graduating senior is Caitlin Rauno, who's going to the University of Florida. Next is Natalie Triana, who's going to the University of Florida. And finally, Emma Valdion, who's going to the University of Florida. Thank you, Matthew. At this point, Kira Ruiz Houston will now swear in our new officers for the 2021-2022 school year. All right, now it is time to announce our new officers for the 2021 through 2022 school year. We've reviewed each application extensively and we are very proud of all who applied. Thank you to each and every one of you who took the time to be thorough and detailed in your application. We really appreciate your dedication. 
To begin, the new 2021 through 2022 Mu Alpha Theta president is Nicole Rodriguez, a diligent and hardworking student. At her side is our new vice president, Matthew Segura, a studious and bright young student. Both Nicole and Matthew have proved countless times their dedication and passion for mathematics through our club meetings, activities, competitions, and service, and we couldn't be prouder of you both. Moving on, our new secretary is Caitlin Landro, and our new historian is Catherine Abad. The new chair of the Treasury Department is Loria Seed, and the new assistant treasurer is Kayla Cruz. The new chair of our membership department is Isabella Revolta, and with the new co-chair of membership by her side, Roger McKenzie. The new chair of our service department is Alexa DeSolo, and at her side, the new co-chair of service, Caitlin Picado. Lastly, for our fundraising department, the new department chair is Laura gomez Ray, and at her side as the co-chair is William Gill. I am so proud of each and every one of you, and I wish you the absolute best next year in office. My best advice, the best advice I can offer is to work together as a team, to remember to delegate or ask for help if you need it, and to always be open-minded to lending a helping hand. You are the foundation of this club, the tree and the branches that give life and opportunity to all the leaves that grow upon it. I wish you the best for next year. Good luck. Thank you, Kira. And now at this point, our sponsor, Mrs. Michelle Townsville, will leave us with some closing remarks. Good evening. I am Mrs. Townsville, the sponsor of the Barbara Goldman chapter of Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society. I would like to congratulate our new inductees for their active participation throughout the year in our tutoring program, our math competitions, as well as our fundraisers. You have demonstrated your commitment to Mu Alpha Theta by fulfilling all of your requirements for membership. And it is my honor to officially welcome you into our wonderful world of math. Congratulations. To my executive board members, Joseph Mooney, President, Kira Ruiz Houston, Vice President, Jamie Gonzalez, Secretary, Jillian Romeo, Treasurer, Loria Sadi, Assistant Treasurer, Kanishi Fields Esperant, Historian, Russell Riley, our Chairperson of Membership, Marco Lewis, our Co-Chair of Membership, Gabriel Gutierrez Ruiz, our Chairperson of Service, Matthew Segura, our Co-Chairperson of Service, Nicole Luca, Chairperson of Fundraising, and Andrea Vega, our co-chair person of fundraising. Your leadership has allowed us to accomplish tasks during this pandemic that I could have never imagined. Your ability to work together to implement our goals was instrumental in making this year extremely successful. In fact, because of all that you did with developing our virtual tutoring program, and making sure that it was executed properly. As sponsor, I plan to continue to offer this virtual service to assist our fellow Goldman students with math assistance. So thank you so much for everything you've done this year and everything you've done for Mu Alpha Theta. You all were terrific. Now to my seniors. Congratulations. You have reached an incredible milestone in your lifetime. I hope that you continue to help others enjoy math the same way that we do. I wish you all the best as you pursue your future endeavors and please stay focused. Lastly, I would be remiss if I did not take a moment to thank our awesome president, Joseph Mooney, as well as our awesome Vice President, Kira Ruiz Houston. One word that comes to mind when I think of both of you is just, wow. You all are truly awesome. Your organizational skills are impeccable. Your time management skills are impressive. And your leadership skills 
They make you both a force to be reckoned with. I could not have done this without you. As seniors, your presence will definitely be missed. You have set the bar extremely high for your successors. So executive board for next year, come ready. However, I know that Joseph and Kira will make sure that you all are well prepared to effectively carry out the work of New Alpha Theta. I look forward to hearing all about your future endeavors. So please stay in touch and thank you so much for all that you've done, not only for me, but from New Alpha Theta. To our returning members, please start making plans for next year. New inductees, congratulations again. And to everyone in attendance, thank you so much for joining us this evening. And please continue to enjoy the rest of our program. Take care, everyone, and stay safe. Thank you, Ms. Townsell. And again, I'd like to thank all of you for your hard work and dedication during this very crazy year. Remember that as Aristotle once said, excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. With that, that concludes our induction ceremony for today. Stay safe and healthy and have a pleasant evening.